Hi everyone, it's time for that special time of day, one of my favorite times of the day for sure, when we get to read our special chapter book, the chapter book called The Magic Bone, Be Careful What You Sniff For. This book is so fun for me. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Anybody remember who the, care, the main character is? I do, I do, I do. Oh, Miss Cochran, raise your hand um, nicely. Miss Cochran, thanks for sitting still. His name is Sparky. Ooh, good job. Yes, we left off chapter three with Sparky has just gone to, found himself in London. <laughs> And in London, he bonked his head on the gate because he wanted to jump um, and go run into the Queen's Palace and uh, climb up all the stairs. But he bumped his head and he met a corgi who was a little bit what he considered bossy, who told him that he couldn't do that. And then he wondered who the two leg was with the giant mound of fur on top of his head was. And he learned that that person with the giant mound of fur on his head is the guard of the queen's palace. The last thing that we found out in chapter three was that Sparky was smelling something delicious. Does anybody remember what, it's, what it was? Um, Buster? No, Buster. It was not a bowl of dog food. Good try, though. Katie? Um, no, Katie, it wasn't chicken. But that's a good try. Both of you were trying hard. He was smelling what he thought or believed to be sausage. So, The Magic Bone, Be Careful What You Sniff For by Nancy Krulik and illustrated by Sebastian Braun. And we're on chapter four. And let's see what's going to happen in chapter four. I'm almost there. I can smell it. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I smell something else. I put my nose to the ground. Fries! Wiggle, waggle, wow! I put down my bone and gobble them up. Sniff, sniff, sniff. There's that sausage smell again. I'm in food heaven. I race off, then my paws stop short. Keep going, I urge them. I look around and I spot my bone. That's why they stopped. Smart, smart paws. There he is. What's he munching on? Those fries, those fries. I have to find a safe place for my bun. Somewhere I can find it when I'm finished eating. I look right, nothing. I look left, nothing. I look down, nothing. And then I look up and I see a sign with a duck painted on it. And next to the duck sign is a big oak tree. Perfect, I'll bury the bone by the tree. Diggity dig dig. Dirt flies everywhere. When the hole is deep enough, I drop my bone down inside. My back paw, paws cover it with dirt. So here he is. Here's the sign with the duck on it. Here's the big tree. Here he is digging, 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 digging. And he's going to leave his bone there to keep it safe. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I smell food again. Follow that smell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Bonk. Wah! I hear a strange sound. What's What now? I look up and see that I have bumped into a table where a bunch of two legs are eating. And now the little two leg is making a terrible sound. Wah! It's hurting my ears. Wah! Ow! Now I'm crying. Wah! Wah! The little two leg screams louder. I turn my head to block the noise and sniff. The most unbelievable giant chunk of sausage is under the table next to me. I dive for the sausage and take a bite. Ow! I cry again. My tongue is tingling. My che cheeks are burning. My eyes are watering. Ow! 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 I jump up. I'm so surprised by how spicy the sausage is. Wiggle, waggle, whoops. I bang into the table. Plates of food fall all around me. Fish, fries, sausages. I can't eat them fast enough. So there's the two leg that's probably doing the, the crying sound. And... Let's 
see what's going to happen next. A plate covered in ketchup lands on little two legs head. He's really screaming now. And so are the big two legs. They are all screaming at me. I sniff around. The food is gone. And so am I. So here's the little two leg with ketchup on his head. Here he is running off. Here are the grown-ups who obviously I think they must have been having a picnic. They're telling him to go away, get away. He's caused a big mess at their, during their picnic. Well, that was a fun story, right? That was a, a fun chapter, excuse me. I wish we could read on, but the next chapter is so long. It would take too long to get through it all. And we want to be surprised tomorrow. I know I do. So let's say I want to give all of you a looking good cheer and a nice big hug. But first, I'm going to give you a looking good cheer, okay? So thanks for listening to me, but here we go. I'm going to give you a looking good cheer. Here we go. Looking good. You are looking good. Your work is looking good. Your attitudes are looking good. You're doing a great job for your family at your house. You're working hard. You're trying the best that you can to do everything you can to take care of everybody. And you need to, and you're taking care of yourself. I know each and every one of you is doing a most amazing job at your house. And I myself am so super proud of you. Just gives me chilies, chili bumps going all up and down my arms. It makes me feel so warm inside just knowing what a great job you're doing for your families. You are the best. Remember, we are staying home to keep the rest of the world safe. We need to follow the directions that have been given to us. We need to stay with our family, do what we need to do at our houses without going out. And even if it's hard, you just make the best of it. This is a, a wonderful time to spend time with your family. I know I'm enjoying spending so much time with Austin. And I know he's having a hard time missing all of his friends too. But along the way, we giggle and laugh almost every day. So that makes me super, super happy. So remember, Falcon Pride is as easy as A, B, C. A, act responsible. B, be respectful. And C, care for others. Just like you are doing at your house. I miss you. I love you, love you, love you. I'm going to give you a great big squeeze. And I'm going to send you on your way to do whatever you need to do around your house. Remember, you're taking care of whatever you need to take care of with you and your family. I'm going to shine the camera a little bit at Kate and Buster. Can you see them there? They're playing. Because they love, love, love when they get to hear the story about Sparky. Goodbye, my little friends. Take care. See you soon. And um, eat your vegetables. Brush your teeth. Wash your hands. And know that you are very loved by so very many people. Take care, you guys.